what do you mean by plant tissue culture plant tissue culture is a collection of techniques used to maintain or grow plant cells tissues or organs under sterile condition on a nutrient culture media of known composition it is widely used to produce clones of a plant in a method known as micro propagation why to use micro propagation applications of micro propagation in banana has the several advantages first rapid multiplication the rate of multiplication in banana is restricted to 5 to 20 suckers per plant during its growth period which makes it difficult to obtain sufficient amount of planting material of a clone of choice micro propagation facilitates production of large number of plantlets thus helping in rapid introduction and dissemination of new varieties secondly requirement of limited mother stock the rapid multiplication technology ensures that limited number of mother plants are required for raising large number of progeny plants these few mother plants can be maintained with required care at a limited cost third application is product uniformity being a vegetative reproduction method micro propagation results in a high degree of genotypic and phenotypic uniformity of the progeny plants the limited variation seen sometimes can be overcome by following appropriate micro propagation genetic fidelity testing and roughing protocols it is also applicable because it is season independent production in conventional field propagation the production of suckers is highly season dependent and hence availability of planting material in a given season is often a limited factor the planting season in most of the banana production areas starts with the onset of monsoon which creates a heavy demand for the planting material often leading to supply of substandard material using micro propagation the production of planting material can be achieved as per needs the next advantage of micro propagation is agronomic advantages micro propagated plants exhibit uniform growth and maturity enabling one time harvesting the once over harvest provides a gain of 60 to 70 days which allows the farmers to take a short duration legume crop that adds to the income and soil fertility it also saves on labor and energy for transportation these are major concerns of the growers by micro propagation the production of disease free planting material is possible because the material is free from sucker borne diseases and pests the use of healthy planting material complemented with integrated pest management program is the key to a good crop stand in the field the plant exchange is also facilitated by the plant tissue culture method or micro propagation the production of plants in test tube facilitates safe movement and easy handling of germ plasma between laboratories within and across countries the micro propagated plants also gives high returns because the progeny is genotypically and phenotypically similar to the mother plant which is often a superior selection the yield and the micro propagation also is applicable for the high returns because the progeny is genotypically and phenotypically similar to the mother plant which is often a superior selection the yield and returns are expectedly higher what could be the ex plant for micro propagation the shoot tips can be extracted from the pseudo stem suckers peepers lateral buds or even small eyes which contain a shoot meristem the steps followed for production of micro propagation first selection of mother plant and establishment of mother block nursery virus indexing of mother plant nursery culture initiation next culture proliferation roughing at various stages of proliferation 
routing and primary hardening accompanied by roughing secondary hardening accompanied by roughing fidelity testing and virus indexing at various stages of mass multiplication let's visualize a micropropagation technique first selection of mother plants are and standard requirements for a mother block nursery while collecting the suckers of banana we should collect sword suckers which is 50 to 60 days old the water suckers are avoided because they are not healthy and can't be propagated success of in vitro culture depends largely on the choice of nutrient medium including its chemical composition and physical form ms media with modification is widely used for the banana tissue culture ms media has four basic components macronutrients micronutrients vitamins and hormones and carbon source to prepare the solid media agar is used as solidifying agent it should be melted separately before adding to the final media composition after reconstitution the ph is adjusted to 5.8 and then the media is autoclaved at 121 degree c at 15 lb per inch square pressure for 20 minutes after autoclaving the culture medium is stored in a clean dust free chamber for 1 to 2 days before use in order to check for any contamination the suckers are cut to expose the shoot tip of 10 cm cube and cut further to about 3 cm diameter and 5 cm length the explant should be carefully cut to avoid injury to the growing meristem the shoot tips are washed in tap water to avoid contamination during micropropagation the banana shoot is sterilized by a series of chemicals it is transferred to a container with 0.1% mercury chloride for 10 minutes and then to 0.1% cetrimide then the shoot tips are washed thoroughly under running tap water to remove all traces of the chemicals using sharp sterile blade one or two outer juvenile leaves and the corn bases are trimmed out afterwards The shoot tips are washed 3 times in sterile water in aseptic condition and the explants trimmed using surgical blade to bring the final size to about 3-4 cm length and 1-2 cm diameter. The explants are inoculated under sterile conditions in 30 ml of initiation medium. in a 250 ml glass jar container the optimum incubation temperature is in the range of 24 to 26 degree c generally the light intensity is maintained at 1500 to 3000 lux initially the cultures are maintained at 16 hour light and 8 hour dark cycle and once after rooting they are shifted 14 hours of light and 10 hours of dark cycle successfully initiated cultures are further utilized for multiplication first subculture is done after 20 to 25 days of initiation when the ex plants turn green in color the cultures are first checked for contamination in general symptoms of fungal contamination appear within 1 week and bacterial contamination symptoms like change of medium and texture or visible colonies appear within 1 week to 1 month for subculturing the outer dead tissue from the base of the ex plant is removed and one or two leaf bases are peeled till the fresh meristematic tips get exposed The apical meristem is cut with two gentle cross incisions and the explant is transferred to subculture medium. During 20 to 25 days after the first subculture, the central meristem produces clusters of proliferating buds and one to three axillary buds. During 20 to 25 days after the first subculture, the central meristem produces clusters of proliferating buds 
and one to three axillary buds get regenerated from the basal parts of explant around the central apical meristem. This is repeated for six to seven cycle, which will give approximately thousand shoots of banana, which finally goes for rooting at as individual plantlet. Once the plantlets are ready for shifting outside the laboratory, they are carefully acclimatized to adapt to the external environment. The plantlets from culture vessel are moved from the laboratory to a room at ambient temperature and kept open for 4 to 6 days. Later, they are shifted to greenhouse for primary hardening where they are first gently washed free of agar medium. This is important as sucrose in agar encourages microorganism. 8 cm shoots with 3 to 4 ramified roots are planted in individual micropods in a pot tray. In places where weather is conducive, 24 to 26 degrees C temperature and more than 80% humidity, the plantlets are hardened for 4 to 6 weeks in mini sand beds. During this period, 90 to 95% humidity is maintained for the initial 6 to 8 days under diffused light. The humidity is slowly reduced to 70%, light intensity raised to normal and temperatures brought to 26 degrees C by the end of 6 weeks. After primary hardening for 5 to 6 weeks, the plantlets are transferred from micropods to polybags. Base substrate is generally soil and sand along with low cost materials like quail pit, sawdust or rice husk. Organic manure is either in the form of farmyard manure or poultry manure. Plantlets from micropods are dipped in fungicide solution, for example, 0.1% vavivistine and planted in polybags containing suitable substrate. Initially, these are maintained in low light intensity, shade nets and 70% relative humidity. The plants are hardened by gradually increasing the light intensity and reducing relative humidity to 40%. After 5 to 6 weeks, the plants become ready for field planting, having 3 to 5 well-developed leaves and a good mass of fibrous roots.